All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, we got the ultimate 5-9 stopper in NBA 2K22 next gen. So I hope y'all enjoy. If you do, feel to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the noties, all that good stuff. And like always, try one to 1,000 likes. Now, what you can see on the screen right here, we have the absolute best perimeter defender in the game, in my opinion. We'll talk about this throughout the course of this video, why I feel like this is absolutely like the best trade-off you can get between speed, perimeter defense, steel, all types of defensive ratings and stuff like that acceleration vertical stamina everything we'll talk about all that as we get through the video we also have a multi ball handler kind of secondary ball handler aspect to this build right here where we do get the gold unpluckable we get pretty good speed with ball gold bullet passer it obviously lacks finishing entirely now with that said i titled this video the ultimate five nine stopper this isn't the absolute best counter to it punch for punch so for instance what i mean is if you were to match up with this build on 1v1 court it's not gonna be the absolute best matchup for it because you can't really take advantage of the 5-9's lack of size. However, the court that the 5-9 is completely souped on is the 3v3 court, where three-pointers rule, you have to defend three-pointers, you also, again, the more you can get yourself, the better. So, with this build, we have absolutely zero finishing. If this doesn't fit your play style or your preference, we'll talk about that maybe later in the video, but I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. This is meant to be a lockdown build, a spot up, a sort of Clay Thompson, so to say, where you're six foot five, you got really good three pointer, you are a secondary ball handler, which is something that Clay isn't exactly in the first place. And you can see, I mean, you can get pro driven moves with it by all means. You can get every package that you would want, except for the height restricted ones. And then you still have 89 speed with ball with gold quick first step. And again, the gold unpluckable with good passing ability as well. But the defense is what we're really here to talk about. Being six foot five allows you to get really good speed. You can get 93 speed at six five. If you go any lower, like if you go six four, six three, you really only gain one more speed and your perimeter defense goes way down. Now you can up your perimeter defense by upping your weight, but upping your weight makes your speed go down again. So this right here is the best possible combo you can do for perimeter defense and speed. Now, as you guys can see, there are a couple things that are lacking on this build. So for instance, we don't have rebounding, we don't have finishing. The mid range game is a little bit weak. I would like to think everything besides that is pretty much completely optimal besides the fact that we don't have max vertical. If you want as well, what we could do is up the wingspan a little bit where we get the max perimeter defense at 99. But in this situation where we have 97, the only reason I want 97 so much is because if you go down to 96, it makes menace and clamps cost another badge and you can see you gain another badge point. So in total, you're gaining three extra badge points for doing this. And I think it's totally worth it to go to the 97 perimeter D. Anything past that doesn't really give you anything in terms of an extra defensive badge or any other unlocked requirements in terms of badges, AKA making them cheaper or anything like that. So like for instance, defensive leader doesn't get cheaper, off ball pass, whatever you wanna talk about, tireless defender. And even if it did, the Hall of Fame tireless defender isn't worth it. But anyway, my whole point with this, you get the silver intimidator, which can be really nice, as well as the fact that your perimeter defense is super high. And you're also taller with this good speed. I want to kind of bring to perspective for a couple of you guys who think that being a 5'9 equals being able to counter other 5'9s. So, for instance, a lot of people have been talking about how with the small point guard meta being a thing, they think making small locks is the meta too. So you can't get mismatch experted and you can match up with their speed and all types of stuff like that. I will be of the personal opinion to completely tell you guys first and foremost, I do not think making a 5'11 or a 6 foot lock is the meta <laughs> by any means. You're going to be, and we're going to show that real quick, matter of fact. All right, so for instance, we have a six foot point guard right here, minimum weight, max wingspan. Now, yes, I know for anybody who might be jumping to conclusions right away, yes, having the minimum weight makes your perimeter defense lower. As you can see, I'm taking it up and boom, the perimeter defense goes up as well. However, your speed's gonna go down for upping this. So to go to the point where we get 99 perimeter defense, you're literally coming down to the same exact speed and perimeter defense that I would have had on a 6'5 build anyway. And for the people to also put this into perspective, for the people who don't understand this, imagine you had a seven foot three player with 99 speed, how much faster he gets down the court than a player that's five foot nine that has 99 speed. It's just a relative thing when it comes to height and speed. And I believe being six foot five and having the exact same speed and perimeter defense as this build has right here is so much better than to just be six feet tall and have the exact same thing. Now, if we want to be completely truthful about this stuff in terms of the actual ratings themselves, you can see at five foot nine, five ten wingspan, you can still achieve 99 steel, 95 printer defense while still having 97 speed, which some could make the case that this would be a good lock build. And it's really the exact same thing you would just make if you're making a five nine point guard. So in some way, the best counter to a five nine point guard is to also make one. But like I said, I don't think you can expect to play as good of defense with this build. We're going to be completely honest in this. I mean, this is like almost seven, seven or eight inches shorter than the six foot five that I'm talking about right here. And 
The truth to it is it's hard to contest shots at this height and I don't understand why people think mismatch expert is so dominant in the sense that it'd be more worth it to make a 5'9 player just to be a lockdown or a 5'10, a 5'11 player, whatever the case may be. 6'5s completely rule in this regard and mismatch expert will never be that overpowered to the point where it's more worth it to make a 5'11 lockdown than it is to make a 6'5 that has pretty much the same speed and does have the exact same perimeter defense. So to come back to this build right here with the 6'5, the way that I have this set up currently is to be able to still get gold unpluckable with the 87 ball handle, which is putting my wingspan down to 6'11". It also gives me 86 three-pointer while doing so. It doesn't hurt to do anything because all it's dropping is perimeter defense and rebounding. However, we're going to talk about making this like a pure lockdown. So you don't, you don't care about ball handling or anything like that. You just want to be able to play good defense and spot up and shoot the ball, where a lot of people do play that role. I know a lot of people hate on it. They say, I can't imagine who would even want to play 2K like this. But at the end of the day, it is kind of fun to come out here and actually, like I said, do what other people can't do in terms of countering these other midget point guards that are just completely running amok out here and just going crazy on people. So we'll talk about all this. I want to real quick go into the build and talk about what maybe could be upgraded on this. So for instance, we only have 69 block on this with 97 printer defense. Those could still see a couple increases. It's very minimal, but it could still see a little bit of an increase. And then entirely on the rebounding, this can go to silver rebound chaser and we'll be able to get it to 84 rating as long as we max the wingspan, which will take the ball handle down to achieve the full pure lockdownness that this is going to get. We're going to take the speed with ball down as well. And then it's also just going to take the three point down a little bit just because we upped the wingspan. Either way, just talking about what this build could see a couple increases on. And then also vertical. I want to talk about vertical because this is very important for getting jump contest. I've seen it in previous years. I've seen it in this year where... These point guards, these five nines and stuff like that, who come out here and they try and play lock with their build, they cannot get a contest for nothing because they have 25 vertical and they're just super short and they don't got any intimidator or anything like that. They really just stand no chance when it comes to contesting shots. So while this is spoken of as the complete meta of the game, I'm here to tell you guys right now that if things were made in terms of trying to actually counter them and stop them and this build were the constant that was found, it would definitely counter it very well and defend it very well, I must say. Now... Am I sitting here saying that you, if you're not good on the sticks on defense and you're playing against someone who is good on the sticks on offense, is going to win every time? No. Like, you have to still be good. It's just a given. But this build can 100% compete and keep up with those 5.9s, 5.8s, whatever the case may be. All right, so just to show the differences we're going to make right here, I was at 6.11 wingspan with, I think the weight was somewhere around here where it had 97 perimeter defense and it had the 80 for the max on defensive rebound. What we're gonna wanna do is up the wingspan to seven foot two. That's gonna give us really good rebound ratings and max out the block and all types of stuff like that. And just in general, having a longer wingspan does contribute to something. Now, here's a little tip that I'm gonna give everybody as well. You can see I have the weight at 175. I'm gonna keep going up until I see something crucial go down. So for instance, acceleration goes down at 180. So I'm just gonna stop at 179. There's no sense in not going this far. You're gonna get yourself an extra two rebound ratings in terms of it gives you offensive and defensive. You gain an interior defense as well as you gain two strength, which I don't think matters that much in terms of this build style or anything like that. But either way, it does see a couple increases that you wouldn't have if you didn't up the weight or anything like that. Just a, a little tip. So we're gonna fast forward to where we actually upgrade the build real quick. Now. Don't take this too seriously if you see this and you think it's a complete joke of a build. I understand, you know, it looks a little bit incomplete in terms of 75 driving dunk and seven finishing badges. And then it literally has no playmaking at six foot five. This would be seen as a pretty bad build in this year's game. I do understand that. However, I'm just sitting here and coming to you guys with the build that I think could completely counter everything to do with anything you're struggling with on defense in this game. You have 99 vertical for the sake of rebounding, shot blocking, getting chase downs, jumping at people's contests on the perimeter. Like I said, this does play a factor in this. And then again, you have 84 defensive rebound for the versatility of switching on to bigs. You have 72 block with the silver intimidator still. You have 99 perimeter defense and steal. You have 93 speed with 99 vertical, like we were saying, and 99 stamina, 91 excel, all at six foot five with a huge wingspan. Now, we did want to at least have the silver bullet passer. You will be a liability on this court if you don't have any pass accuracy by any means. And we didn't still upgrade the mid range. I have driving dunk at 75. This is going to give you quick drops off one. It's by far the best dunk package in the game. Me with 99 driving dunk. It's the only it's the only dunk package I have equipped. It's just super fast. It's hard to block in, in this game that is super like block heavy. Quick drops off one is the absolute just meta. You have to have it. 
So real quick, let's just be a little bit realistic with what you could shave off of this build to actually give it a couple more viable things in terms of a little bit more ball handle, a little bit more speed with ball, things that are at least viable in terms of catching the ball on the fast break and actually dunking it to actually utilize your dunk ratings a little bit. So we're going to come to offensive rebound first and foremost. I'm going to take this off entirely just to show you guys it was at 33 defensive badge points right there. I'm of the belief that you do not need offensive rebound on this build. There is no reason you should be crashing the offensive glass with a six foot five build that's playing lockdown personally. And as you're going to see right here, it does obviously drop your defensive badges from 33 to 30. We're going to go up to the, the closest threshold right here. That's going to put you at 31 for the defensive badges. And I think that's the perfect spot right there. Now we're also going to come to vertical. You're going to see in the situation where we drop this from like maybe 99 to say 94. We're going to go from a 98 overall to a 96. That's two ratings just like that. And as you're going to see, just to give you some example, we could literally with those two ratings, put our ball handle up by like 25. So it's up to you whether you think that the vertical would be more worth you having five vertical or having like 25 ball handle or something like that. Or in the situation where we maybe go pass accuracy, you could get your bullet passer to gold instead just for the five vertical that we have. So it's up to you in that regard. But I think that shaving off the vertical could be a little bit viable. I think once you hit like 92, 93, though, is pretty much where you should stop. I think it starts to become a little bit more cheaper around then. And Realistically, you could take your defensive rebound down to like 83 just so you keep this defensive badge point. And you only need 81 for the silver rebound chaser, which is pretty much all you really even need anyway. So we could just drop this all the way down to here. 81, boom. If you're comfortable with 29 defensive badges, what we also can do as you're gonna watch all the numbers on the screen right here, nothing is changing at all. The only thing that's changing is literally just the perimeter defense rating. We go from 99 to 97. You're not losing a badge or anything like that. And realistically, you're just gaining an overall point. And it just doesn't really make much sense to upgrade this all the way to 99 perimeter defense unless you are absolutely like I was showing you a couple minutes ago. You're very, very cool with making a pure lockdown build that has no playmaking or anything like that, has pretty minimal on anything aside from that, just 75 driving dunk and call it a day. But even at that, it's still very hard to upgrade this build to be a complete build because it's so many things that's being weighed super heavily in terms of the build where you have really high steel, really high perimeter defense, really high speed, vertical, stamina, all types of stuff like that. You're pretty well-rounded in terms of block, rebound, into your D. You got your three-pointer maxed all the way. You still have 75 driving dunk. It's going to be hard for you to get anything that's usable in terms of ball handling ability. So long story short, what I'm saying here you make you have to make a lot of sacrifices for being a pure lockdown in this game and look i'm gonna be real it's just gross to try and make this build well-rounded in any means so if you're trying to get like even just dunk rating that's gonna be able to just dunk the ball when you're open and have at least silver quick first step and silver unpluckable it just looks like an ugly build as you can see i mean it does not look good offensively it has a really mediocre ball handle really mediocre driving dunk but in this game full of demigods everywhere, and I don't mean to just, you know, give that misconception that there are just demigods everywhere, that every build can do everything, but it's a game where a lot of people are trying to be able to do everything. And I think when you are a specialist like this and you can be absolutely focused on like laser focused on defense, on ball defense, playing really good in terms of locking down those point guards out there, you have to make sacrifices in other situations and other means of your build. And in this situation, you could either just sacrifice one thing entirely and take off everything to do with finishing. And just like that, you will have very doable ball handling ratings. You could max out your ball handle. You could pretty much max out your speed with ball as well. Then we're right back to square one where we were at the beginning of the video where you have nothing on driving dunk, nothing on driving layup, and you're pretty much just spotting up corner or moving around the three point line the whole game. And you're just looking for threes on some Clay Thompson stuff. And really, if you're spotting up too, it's not a waste of space. It, a lot of people love playing with people like that, if we're being completely honest. But anyway, this build right here obviously does have the defensive rebound, the versatility, everything that we've already mentioned, has the 90 vertical still. So anyway, because I can't stand to see anything else on the screen that's so just unbalanced and so horrible in terms of like certain ratings, I'm just gonna come back to what I showed at the very beginning. We have 23, 29, and 25 on this build. Again, this is the one that doesn't have the rebounding at all. You're gonna have 97 as your max, but it still does get the gold unpluckable. It gets a really good three-pointer. It gets 89 speed with ball. You still have gold bullet passer, and you're a really good lockdown build. Again, the only thing you're really lacking is versatility of switching on to bigs for the rebounding. But honestly, you could just kind of get in the way and maybe you could still box and someone else still comes to help you as well. So I don't know, either way, we showed a lot of options in this video. I wanted to just give you guys those options so you could kind of survey it for yourself and see what you like more. I do want to mention one last time, I think vertical is actually a very good rating to have as a perimeter lockdown. And 
kind of hand in hand with that if you have super high vertical i would definitely recommend you to go with the way of actually upgrading your rebounding and maybe taking your ball handle down a little bit with this build right here honestly it's just a tough scene no matter how you slice it you're gonna have to figure out how you want to split this build up your own way if you don't want like for instance this is the most pure lockdown you could possibly be 99 perimeter defense we got everything maxed out on d that we possibly can besides o board we got vertical at 99 this is as pure lock as it gets and you have to suffer a lot in terms of the ball handling and speed with ball ability that you're build has and honestly this is why i just suggest you guys to not even have the driving dunk in the first place because if you're out on the break or something like that and you're out here running with 25 speed with ball or 25 ball handle you're, you're just looking horrible in the first place like you are not going to get to the hoop in the first place people are going to catch you they're going to chase you down anyway i would just recommend to be the three-point specialist that i'm talking about with this build right here and then you'll be able to go back to something like this where you drop the vertical a little bit i'm throwing out a lot of options for you guys i'm pretty much just showing you and showcasing the 6-5 and its ability to play really good perimeter defense like we mentioned earlier in the video a lot of people are making smaller lockdown builds just to try and counteract the five nines and i don't think that's a move by any means it's it looks horrible if i'm being completely honest with you like why would you make a 5 11 lockdown <laughs> why would you make a six foot lockdown and you're literally just sacrificing speed for upping weight to up perimeter defense and then at that point you have the same exact speed and perimeter defense that a six foot five has right here anyway where this one could get 99 if you wanted it to like we were saying and it still has a 93 speed there's a lot to be said about all of that it's really ridiculous how well this build can play perimeter defense so anyway that's all for the video i hope you all enjoyed give it for to drop a like sub if you're new turn on the noties all that good stuff like i said in the intro let's try just one to one thousand likes if you made it to the end of the video put lock in the comments your story supports me all the way through and feel free to leave your feedback on this build. I know a lot of people are going to have their own opinions in terms of what I showed in here. Really bad builds, like in a lot of people's opinions. And I don't blame you. There, It is a struggle to go with anything that's going to be balanced. You're going to have to lack something on your build. And if it's finishing, so be it. I don't think you should completely lack ball handling speed with ball. Like I was saying with the fast breaks and stuff, it's going to be really bad. And obviously i think something you should sacrifice is that mid-range rating you can easily just be a three-point specialist you don't have to step inside the arc and shoot the ball simple as that free throw just to let you guys know like you don't lose you don't gain anything for dropping free throw i mean you literally lose one overall point not even that for going to 85 free throws so you might as well just you may as well just have it in case you ever want to hop on pro-am with this but either way I think this is looking super fire in terms of countering the, the five nines out there and actually locking them down and playing the perfect defense that you can. This is beautiful. So I hope you all enjoyed. And on that, like I said, if you made it to the end, put lock in the comments. Story supports me all the way through. On that, take it easy, man. Peace.